Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you the formula which is basically giving us the distance between the origin and the hyperplane which is basically used to separate the two classes one is positive another one is negative one is yes another one is no like that okay so here suppose this is our hyperplane which is used to uh, separate our known data set okay to separate two classes okay so the equation we have already seen omega transpose x plus b equal to zero and this particular matrix form we eventually uh, map to vector representation and we have found out that this omega which is basically minus m1 okay is nothing but the direction of the perpendicular drawn on this particular linear separator okay so that's what i have given this direction and generally we show direction using unit vector so that omega vector by mod of omega vector i have done this is nothing but unit vector uh, in the direction of omega vector okay now our aim is to calculate the d this one okay which is basically perpendicular distance from the origin to our linear um, uh, separator okay so i hope you have already studied straight line concept in your class 11 mathematics course there we have studied in detail about the derivation of a uh, of calculating the length of the perpendicular drawn from a point to a line okay suppose the line equation is ax plus by plus c equal to zero and suppose my point is x1 y1 then the perpendicular whatever you draw from x1 y1 to the line ax plus by plus uh, c equal to zero the perpendicular length will be nothing but mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c by root over of a square plus b square similarly here if you put the formula from origin if you want to calculate the perpendicular distance just put 0 in this you will be getting d equal to c by root over of a square plus b square okay that is this one c by root over of a square plus b square now when we started our derivation we have not taken the line equation as ax plus by plus c equal to 0 we have taken y equal to mx plus c so let's convert this y equal to mx plus c like ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and substitute in this equation okay so y equal to mx plus c can be written as y minus mx minus c equal to 0 and if you compare this equation with ax plus by plus c equal to 0 you will be getting a equal to minus m b equal to 1 and this c in the equation of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 actually here will be minus c okay so what will be the distance this particular c will be replaced by minus c okay by root over of a is minus m minus m minus m whole square is nothing but m square and b is nothing but 1 1 square is 1 so denom denominator is m square plus 1 square root okay and the numerator here minus c actually getting but here you can see actually there is mod part okay so if minus c also you are taking it will be basically only positive part so it will be coming as c so the distance okay if the line equation is y equal to mx plus c and if you want to calculate the length of the perpendicular uh, uh, length of the uh, line uh, which is basically perpendicular drawn from origin to that line y equal to mx plus c that will be nothing but c by root of of 1 plus m square okay right i hope it is clear to you now, what else are omega vector that is nothing but minus m1 actually that is indicated that is nothing but one but position vector in terms of vector notation we can say minus m may be uh, the actual vector is minus m i cap plus j cap like that we can uh, relate this one with vector right so what is the magnitude of this position vector there is nothing but root over of 1 plus m square and that is nothing but here okay this is nothing but mod of omega so we can say distance is nothing but c by mod of omega and what is our c c is nothing but minus b because in our derivation we have considered b equal to minus c right recall our initial derivation right so basically our distance equation is minus of b by mod of omega okay so remember this if our separating line equation is omega transpose x plus b equal to 0 then the distance in between origin and the line which is basically perpendicular is equation is minus of b by mod of omega okay so i hope the derivation is clear to you this is all for my this video thank you for watching